This video demonstrates how to install and configure Device Tracker using an EMM, in this case AirWatch. Make sure to refer to Device Tracker documentation in TechDocs and follow installation steps 1 through 4, which are common regardless of the EMM in use. These steps, which are highlighted here, are Step 1. Open the required ports and allow the required domains for devices to communicate to the cloud server. Step 2. Connect the device to a Wi-Fi network to access the cloud server. Step 3. Enable Bluetooth and location services for device tracking to take place. And Step 4. Download and deploy the Device Tracker Client APK to the device using the standard steps through the EMM. This demonstration focuses on steps 5 through 7, now highlighted, for deployments through AirWatch. The steps are Step 5. Grant the required permissions for Device Tracker based on the Android platform version. Step 6. Apply the Setup XML file to MX, which grants permissions to display over other apps, dis disables battery optimization, and starts the Device Tracker service. And Step 7. Deploy the Server Connectivity Settings XML to MX. I will now go in more in depth with these steps. First, determine the required permissions based on the Android platform version. For Android 11 and Android 10 with a specified LG version or lower, grant the two permissions specified. For Android 8 on TC51 and MC3300 devices or other devices with a specified LG version or lower, grant the two permissions specified. No further action is needed if the LG version on the device is higher than that specified, since the permissions are automatically granted in that case. To grant permissions, in AirWatch, add a new Android profile. Select Android. Enter the profile name. In Custom Settings, enter the Custom Script. Refer to the VMware article providing instructions on managing internal app permissions on Android Enterprise Work Managed Devices. In the Android code, set the appropriate permissions to grant based on the Android device platform and encode the code in Base64 format. Then insert the encoded string into the specified field in the XML custom script. Here I've inserted our custom script highlighting the string that is encoded. Save the profile. It is now added to the profiles list. Next, deploy the device tracker setup XML file to MX. The XML file is available for download from the installation instructions. Use AirWatch's file actions method to deploy the XML file. Select Android. Enter a name. In the Files tab, click Add Files. Select the downloaded XML file. Click Save. Enter the download path, the path where the XML file is to be copied on the device. In the Manifest tab, add the action to apply custom settings from the XML file just added. For the XML file to be processed by MX, Zebra's MX service app must be installed on the device per AirWatch documentation shown here. Click Save. Click Save. Now we add a product to apply both the permissions profile and custom settings. Enter a name. Select the device group to apply the permissions. In the Manifest tab, select Profile Install as the action to perform and select the Allow Permissions profile created earlier. Save this. Add another action to perform. This time, select File Action Install and enter the Setup XML Permissions file created earlier. Click Save. Both actions are listed. Click Activate. The product is now added to the list, which grants the required permissions on the device and launches the Device Tracker service, deploying it to the devices. 
Now the last step covered in this demonstration is deploying the server deployment settings XML file provided by Zebra during the onboarding process. This XML file contains the information for the devices to connect to the server. Create a new file action. Select Android. Enter a name for this file action. In the Files tab, browse to the Device Tracker Server Deployment XML file supplied by Zebra during onboarding. Enter the download path where the file should be saved on the device. In the Manifest tab, add an action to apply custom settings and select the Server Deployment XML file. Click Save. Now add a product to apply this file action to the device. Select Android and enter a name. Select the device group for this to be applied to. In the Manifest tab, add File Action Install as the action to perform and enter the file action just created. Click Save. Click Activate to apply to the device. That concludes steps four through seven for device tracker installation using AirWatch. Device tracker is now ready for use on the device. Optionally, follow the instructions in step eight to enable secondary BLE, allowing the device to be located if it loses power.